hit enter on it and right here we're in hey guys welcome back to another episode on how to hack and today we'll be learning about using nmap so nmap is a network mapping tool and it help us discover devices as well as the services on top of those devices inside your network and this is particularly helpful if you're doing ethical hacking if you're trying to map out all the devices as well as services inside your network whether you are having multiple subnets whether you have many devices, many servers and services running, it can help you uncover many of these possibly disallowed services or devices that should not be there. And then upon it, once you discover those, you can take the remediation step to perhaps close off certain services, update your systems and so on. And by the way, if it is your first time here, remember to subscribe to the channel as this is a channel all about ethical hacking and penetration testing, which you can learn from all the tutorials that we're building for you. And at the same time, remember to like the video so that we can create even better and greater content for you in the future. So without further ado, let us go jump right into demonstration. So right in front of us over here, we have the Kala Linux that is running. And we'll be using Kala Linux to help us run our NMAP platform. So what we can do right now is to go ahead and enter NMAP. All right. So once you hit enter on NMAP, it will show us all the parameters and options that we have to input into NMAP so that we can scan this particular network. All right, so we can specify the IP addresses, the host, and so on. So right now, all I got to do is enter nmap, and we'll be using a specific option here. So in this case, we have an option called SN. So this can help us scan very, very quickly across the network without having to go through an entire port scanning. So I can enter nmap-sn, followed by the IP range that I'm looking at. So in this case, 192.168, Dot zero dot zero slash 94. So this will help us scan through the entire network to look out for hosts that are alive or active. So go ahead and hit enter on this. So once we hit enter on this, this would save a lot of time because it's just doing a very, very quick scan across the entire network to flag out if there are any specific devices. So right here, as you can see, we have a lot of different devices that we have picked up. And one of the quickest way in order to create an inventory of all these devices is to think about the quantities of devices that you have in your network. So perhaps you have a smart TV, you have a smart refrigerator, you have a smart home system, you have your mobile device, you have a laptop. So that is five devices in total. And if you see any additional devices, then you have to be very careful of because that could be other devices in your network that should not be there. And you may want to kick them out using the network settings inside your router. And next up, what we'll do is a more comprehensive scan against a specific device. Okay, so what we can do here is go ahead and enter nmap with the default settings and enter 192.168.0.212. So this is a specific server that I'm actually running and I'll go ahead and run on it. So right here, we can very quickly uncover all those services that are running on top of this specific device. So we can see the number of pods, all right, there are a number of services that are actually running on this specific device. And the other wonderful thing about MMAP is that it comes along with a lot of scripts that are installed out of the box together with Kala Linux. And this is very helpful whenever you are trying to complete more comprehensive scans and running certain scripts that can help you run certain kind of attacks. So in this case, you can actually go under CD, all right, to change directory to USR, share, and map scripts, and hit enter on this, enter LS, and this will show you all the scripts that are available using NSE, right? So NSE stands for MMAP Scripting Engine. So it is a wonderful way for you to even code out specific scripts that can help you be able to flag out certain type of vulnerabilities. So you can run a vulnerability scanning on a specific target. So in this case, what I will do now is to run a vulnerability scan against this specific device. So all I got to do, okay, is to go ahead and enter NMAP followed by the IP address I can enter double dash script equal, all right, vonners.nse, and then followed by dash sv. All right, so dash sv gives us more specific versioning of the services that are going to be probed, all right, by nmap against this specific device. So go ahead and hit enter on this. And this is going to be a much more comprehensive scan. So it will take a while in order for us to flag out those vulnerabilities that we can discover and uncover in each of those servers devices and platforms that we're scanning against. So in this case, it is actually scanning against the system and it is flagging out. So in this case, when we manage to flag out certain type of 
the versions of the services, it would also help us check against specific CVEs, Common Vulnerability Exposure Database. All right, so this will help us very quickly identify those possible exploits that we can utilize to launch the attack against the system. Additionally, there are also attack scripts that you can utilize inside Nmap scripts. So what I can do now is to enter, for example, ls to list down all the scripts that we have inside this directory. So I can enter, for example, and I can grab brute, hit enter on this, and it will show us all those brute force attacks that we can utilize to launch different kind of checks against usernames, passwords field on those services. At the same time, I can also do, for example, grab on MySQL. All right, so if you remember earlier, when we do an MMAP against this IP address, 192.168.0.212, and when I hit enter on this, we can see that there is a MySQL running on port 3306. So I can utilize some of these scripts that are targeted specific to certain services. So in this case, we have MySQL, and I want to do a quick check on an empty password field. All right, so I can utilize the script. Okay, so we have MMAP, IP address, followed by the double dash script. And in this case, I'll change it over to MySQL dash MT dash password dot NSE. All right, and I'll go ahead and use dash V. So this gives us a lot more verbose. All right, so go ahead and hit enter on this. And we can see right here, we got a very, very quick result. Root account has empty password. Again, what you're seeing here is that Nmap is highly functional, so it's hyper-flexible and it has a lot of scripting engine available for us to utilize to launch possible attacks against different kinds of services and against different kinds of devices. So Nmap is not just used in order for us to map out the entire environment for devices, systems, servers, and so on. It can also help us even run attacks against those services. And right here to verify that we're really able to access the service with an empty password. So let us go ahead and access into the MySQL from Color Linux into the target machine. So I'll go ahead and enter MySQL dash U for username, root dash P, followed by dash H for host, 192.168.0.212. Hit enter on this. And of course, this is a blank password. Hit enter on it. And right here we're in. Immediately we gain access into the service. So this shows you how quickly and how powerful MMAP is in helping us perform ethical hacking and penetration testing on any specific service or even on any specific devices. I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. And we will like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.